Hello everyone, and welcome to the debut episode of a series I like to call Should Christians Play? We're going to kind of, as a Christian, go between the lines of the ESRB and see and ask the question, should a Christian play? While we also look at the game from an accessibility point of view. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Derek. I represent the YouTube channel Poetically Christian and the Twitch channel Poetically Christian Gamer. I decided to do this series because I am a legally blind preacher and I could find nowhere online on YouTube or elsewhere where someone is looking at something from an accessibility point of view, but also from a Christian accessible point of view. And so I decided to start this series where we look and judge whether a game is physically accessible as far as accessibility features go, while we also look is it morally accessible and accessible from a Christian point of view. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, guys, and you want to see this series continue, support this effort. Go ahead and drop a like on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our future reviews. And if you're watching on Twitch, remember also hit that follow button and you'll be able to watch me as I do these reviews live. And remember, guys, I can't do this without you. I have help from my friend Paul, my wife, and all of you. Drop your comments on YouTube. Let me know if there's things I missed or things you would also suggest about the games I review. As I said, I am a legally blind preacher, so I kind of come at things accessibility-wise from the low vision and blind point of view, but I will also be looking at motor accessibility and things for the deaf and hard of hearing as well. So we're going to kind of just judge all the things accessibility-wise in the game physically. We're going to look morally accessible as far as Christian goes, kind of review both, give a grade on both, and then give my final grade on the game at the end, guys. So grateful to be able to do this. As I said, I haven't seen anywhere online where anyone was doing this, so Lord willing, this will help you if you decide to try to play these games on Game Pass or PSN, or maybe save you a few dollars if you decide to buy these games and turn out that it wasn't for you. That's a frustrating thing, isn't it? I know from my own personal point of view and my own experience uh, as a Christian, those ESRB ratings leave a lot to be desired from the Christian point of view, so hopefully this will help you. With that being said, guys, and all that being said, <laughs> I had to set up this debut episode. As I said, my name is Derek, and today we are reviewing Marvel's Midnight Suns. This game was released back in December of 2022, and it is a turn-based RPG game kind of along the lines of XCOM or the old school JRPG games where you take your turns and you pick your characters and you level them up and you use certain abilities but this game is using the abilities through cards that you can also continue to gain and level up and of course we're playing as the Marvel characters. Now as far as the accessibility part of this game we'll start with first I started with an easy one, guys, because there is virtually no accessibility, or I should say very little accessibility to this game. From the visual point of view, there is no narration and there is no navigation assistance whatsoever in this game to help you. From the deaf and hard of hearing, there is closed captioning, subtitles, but the words that you see at the bottom of the screen, that is as big as it gets for the subtitles. They are extremely small, so even for the deaf and hard of hearing, it's going to be a challenge to really sit there and strain your eyes to read this extremely small text uh, I found to be. There is a few accessibilities for the colorblind, but virtually that is it. There's a little bit of remapping for the controls, but not near what someone would need if you have motor disabilities. It is very, very limited in what you can remap. Just basically basic, basic button remapping on this game. Kind of go in and show you a little bit of what the gameplay looks like here so you can see. As we see, we have our characters here. 
and those were fighting. You move around the map with your left joystick to try to get to the enemies. There is no indicator to let you know from a visual standpoint when you're on the enemies to be able to attack them. So what I found is you hit the right bumper, it kind of cycles through, and then you wait till you hear a confirmation that you can attack one. <laughs> and that's basically what it is. As you can see, there's nothing. Little button uh, cues that you're hitting a button, see? There's your menus, not narrated. Just kind of wanted to show you guys how it actually worked. I let you know you can't do anything. See, from a visual point, there's no way of letting you know what you're doing, when you're doing it. Okay. Kind of just wanted to show you guys what it looked like as far as the gameplay. Now, from the Christian point of view, the moral accessibility, this game got an ESRB rating of T for teen for violence, mild blood, and language. <clears throat> As far as the language goes, there's mild profanity sprinkled throughout this game. Violence is your typical superhero violence, uh, nothing overly egregious over the top. And from the blood point of view, it is very mild. What the ESRB rating does not tell you, however, is the fact that this game has what I determine to be blasphemous content. Now, you can use your own discernment as a Christian whether this thing bothers you. There's a difference between Greek mythology or false gods, false things like that, that you know. But there's also a difference and there's a fine line that blurs when you get into Christian content and this game blurs the line. The whole story or the basic summary of the story is you start out with Doctor Strange and Sorcery, and they bring back a villain named Lilith, who constantly throughout the game refers to herself as a god. And not just a god as in terms of mythology, but blurs the line between the god. Many times during the storyline, a character in one of your characters will say, oh god, meaning they're in peril, and Lilith will respond by saying, exactly. They refer to her as, and her minions, as being on the right hand of Lilith. Just like we know in God's word is on the right hand of God, the place reserved for our Savior, Jesus Christ. The line gets extremely blurred. And it reminds me of... Acts, the 12th chapter, verses 21 to 23. You remember how King Herod had made that great oration before his subjects, and the crowd responded by saying, it is the voice of a god. And he did not give God the credit, nor did he deny this, but soaked up that adulation. And immediately in verse 23, God ended his life on the spot. Makes you think, doesn't it? And this game made me feel extremely uncomfortable from a Christian point of view, a moral point of view, and I believe that the line gets extremely blurred. And so overall, from accessibility point of view, I would give this a letter grade of F, as there is virtually no accessibility features for this game. Whether you're visually impaired, blind, hard of hearing and deaf, or motor accessibility. It fails in virtually all three aspects. And from a Christian moral standpoint, 
I would also give this grade an F. As it blurs the lines on God, on the role of Jesus Christ, and really goes right up to the line of being out and out blasphemous content. Along, of course, with demonology, sorcery, and all those things that go along with it. This has been my short debut Christian review, guys, as we answer the question, should Christians play Marvel's Midnight Suns? And today the answer was no. I hope this helps you from a Christian point of view, guys, and Lord willing, I hope to see you in the next one. As I said, if you like this, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel on Poetically Christian. Give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the review section in the comments what you would also add about this game. And Lord willing, if you're watching on Twitch, hit that follow button. You'll be able to join me the next time I do one of these reviews live. Till then, guys, have a great day. God loves you. I love you. And bless wishes, guys.